I'm going to talk to you is on P&I insurance and China to that cloud. Um, it's well known that shipping is an adventure, and the ships often face all kinds of natural calamities and uh, terrors of the sea. You see summer storms, huge waves, tsunami, grounding, stranding, capsizing, so on and so forth. We refer to all this as marine risks. In order to manage these risks, among other things, shipowners tend to purchase marine insurance. When we talk about marine insurance for ships, actually we are talking two types of typical marine insurance, harm machinery insurance and protection indemnity insurance. Today we are focus on protection and indemnity insurance because we are very limited area. I would like to, to turn um, to the background in early 19th century, when PNI was born. In 1807, steamships were put into commercial use. Uh, with the enlargement of the ships, more ship related accidents occurred uh, than ever before. In the meantime, ship owners' liability to third parties also increased drastically with a uh, series of called rulings and uh, legislation in the UK. In 1836, after the court ruling of the case, the Vox versus Salvador, at the request of ship owners, the ship insurers they had to cover three fourths collision liability under the running down clause, still leaving the rest one fourth of the liability with ship owners. So you can see there's a guy, just one fourth of the collision liability. In 1846, the UK passed the Fatal Accident Act, which stipulates ship on the liability for the uh, personal death and injury based on fault. In 1847, the Harbour Stocks Pierce Clause Act was published, which held ship owners responsible for right removal costs. You can see all these new risks and liabilities can be very uh, substantial, expensive, and the most important thing is still in the process of development. So, a lot of uncertainty involved. So, the traditional uh, profit oriented uh, insurers declined to cover any of them because you know, never know what will happen. Against this backdrop, in 1855, Ship owners join together. We insure each other against these new risks. So this kind of new insurance is called protection insurance as a contrast to the traditional commercial insurance. For a long time in the history of the UK, ship owners were entitled to incorporate all kinds of uh, exemptions in the bill of lading. So at that time, practically, ship owners didn't have any liability whatsoever on cargo. Now seems as far as that's the truth at that time. Uh, till 1870, there were two very high profile cases. Let's the whole case happened in uh, South Africa, an animal case. According to these two call judgments, ship owners were liable for carbon loss and damage due to fall. This is also another risk, a new liability. So in 1874, Steamship Owners Mutual Protection Indemnity Association began to cover cargo liability. This new insurance is called indemnity insurance. PI insurance is actually composed of two parts of insurance: protection insurance, indemnity insurance. Nowadays, the risk covered by current PI class actually provides a much wider range of risks than ever before including personal injury and death, cargo liability, collision liability, oil pollution, direct removal, uh, FFO, liability, fast expenses, so on and so forth. All these risks is uh, in connection with the ship management, ship, own, ship operation. Uh, as far as the limit of coverage is concerned, uh, generally speaking, there is not a specific limit of coverage. Uh, in most cases, uh, for PNH, that's the 
It's a really different, different thing from traditional insurance. There are two exceptions to this rule. One is oil pollution. The liability is $1 billion for any money back. For passenger liability, the limit is $2 billion. If it's combined with crew liability, the total will be $3 billion. So it's a huge one. Other than this, it's unlimited, theoretically. As a, a mutual insurance provider, PNI clubs have two very striking, phenomenal features. That's mutuality, not profit. But mutuality, normally we mean all PNI clubs originated from the UK mutual clubs. For a long time, in the early history, Ship owners were both the insured and the insurers, so it's different from the normal uh, commercial insurance. Uh, ship owners manage and control PNA club even now. Uh, although PNA clubs are incorporated as independent legal entities, still ship owners can manage and control the clubs through membership direction. <coughs> By nonprofits, uh, I mean, you know, the fundamental aim of p and operation is to make full time rather than generating high some profit. It's, it's not their goal. I mean, if there happens to be a surplus, the surplus should go to the reserve at the end of the policy year or an option to be returned to the members, to the shareholders. I would also like to take this chance to give you a very rough picture of China Clinic Lab, or CPI for short. CPI was established in Beijing in 1984. It's day along the, across the Rafu Street, the Rafu Hotel, China Street, Beijing. CPI is not profit mutual marriage insurance provider, a recognized Chinese uh, legal person, <coughs> regulated by the Ministry of Transport and the Ministry of Civil Affairs of China. This is the chart for the, the governance of CPI. On top of this general meeting of members, and then they bought the management company. CPI head office now is located in Shanghai, but relocated from Beijing to Shanghai last year, as we did. And then we have a um, four local office, uh, respectively uh, uh, located in Beijing, Dalian, Hong Kong, and London. This is the names of our major members. You must be familiar with most of them. And uh, we are also very glad that uh, we already have a, pre uh, a presence here in Singapore, a uh, second with Chen for attending. Um, and I believe it's expanding very quickly. This key figures of performance as of uh, February 20th, 2018. Our owner's entry is 53 million GT. Charter Sanctuary, 6 million, FDB, 130 vessels, free reserve, I mean, PNI, Hungary combined, 2.4 billion US dollars. PNI combined ratio, 95.6%, how much is total insured by the 4 billion US dollars? This is the, the key figures. CPI offers one stop service. Our products uh, include uh, protection, indemnity, harm machinery, uh, free demerge and defense, charges cover, warrants, and nearly all lines of insurance are normally uh, covered by PI insurance clubs. Uh, this uh, loss prevention service available to our members, uh, including technical support, condition service, seminars, training, publications. CPI has uh, more than 400 uh, correspondents in over 140 countries and areas. All these correspondents provide 24 7 on call services. Thank you so much for your kind attention. And uh, all the best. Thank you. Thank you.